Hi and welcome to Lenovo Think Client Training. In today's session we'll be looking at the setup and walkthrough of the Lenovo Terminal Operating System, otherwise known as LITOS. All of the administration for LITOS is provided through the control panel. As you can see here, we have clients built in for all of the popular VDI solutions currently available on the market. This includes Citrix ICA, Remote Desktop Support, VMware Horizon View Support, and a Zenap View Client for connections to storefront based servers. We also have included a Firefox web browser for support for web based applications. To create one of these connections, simply select the one that you want to create, select Add, and give the connection a name. In this window, we'll need to specify our server properties to connect to this desktop including a server address, a username and a domain. We can change further properties here by selecting either display, the local resources, which includes multimedia redirection as well as smart card support. We can specify a program to start immediately or RD gateway settings, remote app support, performance options, including the ability to enable or disable remote effects. And under the options window here, we have the ability to auto start this connection so that this is the first screen that our users will see when the device powers on. We can also auto restart this connection so if the session is ever closed down, we can have it automatically powered back on so that the user does not have access to the Linux based operating system. When we apply this connection, we have an icon on the desktop that we can double click to get through into our remote session. Once we have entered our password, it will immediately log us into a Windows based desktop. To show this process further, we can create a Firefox web browser connection. Again, we add and give the connection a name. Here we can specify our starting URL. This can be a web page, or in fact, the starting point for our Citrix DDC. Again, we can automatically start this connection on the device booting or auto restart. Specify proxy settings. We can enable kiosk mode quite easily and we can enable or disable certain features of the browser depending on our setup. Under advanced options here, we have the ability to specify JavaScript or pop-up blocker. Again, we have an icon on the desktop to connect through into this session. Under the system settings, we have some appearance options. We can change the display resolution We can set the screen blanking or the orientation of the display that we're connected to. Under input and time, we can change the system locale. We can also change the keyboard input language, the input method if we need one, the time zone, or in fact use a time server if we have one. LITOS is a completely non-persistent operating system. This means that any changes or connections will be lost through subsequent reboot of the device. If we want to store connections, we can take a snapshot of the OS, which will store these settings locally on the device. Or from this window, we can also clear local storage, which will return the device back to factory default settings. Under the management interface, we can specify our management server or unmanaged mode if necessary. We can also configure a password for this control panel. If users do manage to get back to this window for whatever reason, they only have the option to reboot, shut down, or enter a password for this control panel to make any changes to the device. We also have the ability here to enable or disable the ability to take print screens from this thin client device. Under network options, we can change here the host name of the device, we can specify a wired or wireless connection if you have the option available. 
or 8021X support. We can also configure here a static IP address if necessary, or we can enable or disable the ability to use Wake on LAN. If we have any locally attached printers or network printers that need to be accessible to the local operating system, we can specify them through this window. We can select from one of the manually built in clients that are already here or add a new printer. Under the USB permissions tab, we can granulate the devices that are available on this thin client or that are available to pass through to our virtual session. As you can see in the examples, we can set mass storage devices, human interface devices as such. From the control panel, we can also specify to use software packages. These are customization packages that we can use on the operating system to modify any portion of the OS through FTP or HTTP location. Alternatively, we can specify these from a local USB key. Packages are completely non-evasive. They will not affect the local operating system. And if they have an adverse effect for whatever reason, we can remove them from the OS and it will return back to its core configuration. The control panel also contains some troubleshooting information, including the OS build, IP address, and the fact that we're managed by a management server with the host name WS-Broker. At the top here, we have network tools available we can ping from this interface, or we can see that the interface status shows that we are active and we have an IP address and MAC address. For further information, we can open the system window and we can see all of the information of this thin client device, including hostname, IP address, MAC address, and other information from this hardware. This concludes the LITOS overview. Thank you very much.